Hello! I'm super excited to start this course with you, but before we do, we need to see where we're starting and where we're ending up so we have a clear path to success. Now, this course has over 200 HD videos and tons of exercises and projects, but they're all broken down into sections to help us learn better. The course is going to start off with Python basics. In here, if this is your first time learning a programming language, it's going to be super, super helpful. Even for those that know a programming language already, but don't know anything about Python, this section is going to get you caught up to speed with the basics so that you feel comfortable programming. This is a big section, so we actually have two parts. And along the way, you're going to watch me code, but also code yourself and practice coding so that you get comfortable with what Python has to offer. Next, we talk about a professional Python developer environment. We teach you how to use the terminal and the command line, about using code editors like Sublime Text and Visual Studio Code. We talk about using PyCharm, a fully integrated IDE for Python developers, and also how to use Jupyter Notebooks, because we're going to use these notebooks later on in the course to do something really, really exciting. Hint, hint, it's machine learning. And once we have a fully professional developer environment, we then get into some advanced Python topics. Now this section, we're not going to shy away from any tough topics, but I'm going to help you understand them and make sense of it all. We're going to talk about classes, object-oriented programming, about decorators, generators, error handling, functional programming, as well as best practices when it comes to how to write clean code. And we'll also learn about popular Python packages, how to work with files, how to test our code, how to use regular expressions, and so much more. Your head might hurt by the end of this section, but trust me, it's going to be fun. Now, most courses will be done by then. You've learned Python and you should be all set, right? Well, not really. Because once we've learned this new language, this new syntax, we have our computers set up to work with Python. We need to talk about how we can apply our newfound knowledge. This is the fun part of the course. We start talking about the careers and the career options you have in Python. Then we get into different fields that we can use Python. In. We're going to learn about scripting in Python, where we use Python to send automated emails. We use Python to process images, work with PDF files. We use Python to send ourselves text messages. We build a Twitter bot. And my favorite project in this section is we build a password checker to actually see if the passwords that you use have ever been hacked. It's a really, really fun one. We also talk about data scraping. A very common use case with Python is to scrape data from online and use it for something productive. In our case, we're going to learn about data scraping and how we can scrape a really popular website for programmers to only select the articles that are important for you to stay up to date with the industry. Again, it's going to be a really fun project. I know I'm saying all projects are fun, but OK, I'm biased. Give me a break here. We're also going to learn about automation and we're going to use something called Selenium to actually control through our machines a web browser and get the machine to do different tasks as if it's a user. And there's some really fun applications when it comes to automation that we'll talk about. And then I know, I know everybody's two favorite topics, web development and data science and machine learning. These two sections are going to be a ton of fun and I think are going to probably be the most popular sections. In the web development section, we're going to learn how to use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, as well as Python to build our own server, build our own portfolio website, put the website online in production and have future employers and customers message you through your website. And yes, you're going to get to customize it and do whatever you want to this portfolio website. So you have something to show for it at the end of the course. And then the machine learning data science part, we're going to use something called Jupyter Notebooks and Kaggle to access some really interesting data sets. We're going to use libraries like Pandas and Scikit-Learn to predict which soccer players are going to be the most valuable or are underpaid. We're going to build our own machine learning model using the Iris data set. And then we're also going to do some image detection where we can feed the machine learning model an image and it's going to predict what the image is of. 
and you're actually going to see how this magic of machine learning works underneath the hood. As you can see, we have a ton to cover in this course. And by the end of it all, this is all going to fit in together and make sense from the very beginning of Python basics to the very end with machine learning. We're going to take you from zero to mastery. But you know what? The best part of this course is our online community. We have thousands of developers chatting every day, helping each other out, solving problems together, and just talking about the latest and greatest in programming. Now, this is an optional resource for you to use so you can have back and forth conversations with other students and myself so you feel like you're part of a classroom and you're not doing this all alone. But you know what? Enough talk. I know you're getting excited. I am too. So let's get started. Let's start learning and see why Python has become the most popular language in the world.